Are you looking to simplify your meal plan? Maybe you're new to meal planning and you're trying to figure out where to start. Wherever you fall on the meal planning spectrum, this video is for you. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I am so excited to do this video with y'all today. It has been something that I've been implementing since probably the beginning of August and it has really helped our family so much. It has helped my stress level so much because you guys know that the more kids you have, the more food you have to make, the more kids you homeschool, the less time you have. And so I had to really get serious with myself in August and I had to sit down and like completely revamp how I was meal planning because although I have always meal planned, I haven't always had a really good system about it or been very organized with it. Um, and it's always been a little bit stressful for me. I always do it because I know that it saves us a lot of money and it also does really save me a lot of time in the long run. And we waste food a lot less if I meal plan, but I needed a new better system. So I'm going to share with you guys in a minute what I have been doing, but first let's have a little chat. Um, it has been a minute since I have kind of updated you guys on our life and what has been going on and we have started school back. It is going great. We had a little bit of a, not a rocky start, but we just had to figure out a lot of stuff. It's, it's so different now that I'm homeschooling three and I have an infant and it's just, <laughs> It's, it's wild on some days. So it's just taken us a little bit to figure out what is working for us and what is not and what we needed to tweak and all of that. So that being said, since it is such a crazy season right now with the baby and homeschooling and all of the other things that I'm trying to juggle in my life, um, I have decided to go back to doing one video a week on this YouTube channel. So you will no longer see two a week, you'll just see the one. Um, there may be a week where I surprise y'all and I do an, an extra video, but just know that probably from moving forward, um, just look for one video a week for me until we have some kind of break or we get to summertime. So I just wanted to kind of update you guys. Everything is going good. I just know that um, God has called me in this season of life. To put him first, my family, and our homeschool. And those are like the three things that I have to focus on. And then if I have extra time for other stuff, that's when I add in YouTube and then all of the other fun things that I like to do. But um, I want to make sure that first my heart and my vision is set on those three things first. So let me talk to you guys about meal planning. Since I had our fourth child about a year ago, um, I have had to figure out a lot of different things. Like I feel like I am naturally an organized person there's something about throwing a fourth kid in the mix that really will just make you question everything and then all of it and he he really wasn't the easiest baby too so that was also a challenge because I just had so much to do every single day and I, it just felt like I couldn't get anything done and anything accomplished a while ago I did do a video about like my cleaning routine and how that has really really transformed me my life and having this home binder where I can keep all of the things organized in our household has been awesome. Um, but recently to this binder, I have added a tab for meal plan, which I always had that, but it really was just like grocery lists and like a calendar to meal plan on. It wasn't what I'm about to show you. So I have had to learn in the last year to really how to simplify things. And the minimalistic mindset is really becoming more and more appealing to me. And I have been trying to minimize things in our life, simplify things in our life, whether it be clothing, I'm gonna do a kid's clothing haul slash closet clean out, kind of how I do my kid's wardrobes and how we stay on budget with all of that. I'll do that soon, but um, cleaning, um, the things that are in our house, um, meal planning, just all of those things I have really had to simplify since having that fourth child. And honestly, if I would have done this back when I had my second child, it really would have been <laughs> great and I could have used that back then. So if you're in that season of life where you are really needing to like simplify things, I got you girl, we're about to do some talking. So the first thing that I did um, is I, I just kind of sat down and created like themed nights. Kind of gave each night of the week a theme. 
Now, some nights of the week, we don't stick to these themes because my husband, sometimes he works nights and sometimes he doesn't, but usually we can guarantee two nights a week he is working nights. So on those nights, usually me and the kids do something very simple and it does, it's usually not on this theme, but if he is home, then we usually try to stick to this theme. Also, sometimes the nights get swapped around, like Tuesdays not always necessarily going to be Mexican if we have like a busy night like lately the boys have been having soccer on Tuesday nights and we have just been picking up Chick-fil-a and taking it to the park and hanging out there um, so you know sometimes Mexican night might be moved to Friday night when we have a little bit more time we can do like a fun taco night so this isn't like set in stone this is just to give me an idea if I'm like struggling and I just need to narrow my choices down for the week this really helps me so you can see on Sunday we have meat and potatoes on Monday we have breakfast for dinner on Tuesday we have Mexican Wednesday we either have some kind of leftovers or CP that means crock pot meal because Wednesdays we go to church so I always try to do something really simple and then Thursday is usually a Italian um, and then Friday is usually meatless slash breakfast and then Saturday is usually pizza and sometimes we make it at home and then some or sometimes we call out for pizza so once I had that figured out all of this stuff I'm going to show you I just made it in Canva and you can do that really easy um, just find you a template that you like and you can make it super easy on Canva by the way a lot of you guys are asked always ask me for like Canva my links to the to Canva things and I can't really share those because the last time I tried to do it I had to make it editable for other people to look at it and then that person who would open it would edit it and then the next person would open it and it would look different because the person before them used it so if I don't know how to share those with you guys without it getting completely redone so Anyways, I hope that makes sense and I hope you guys understand why I can't really share those with you. If you know how you can share that Canva uh, link or whatever with someone and it not be uh, editable, um, but where people can still save it and then edit it, <laughs> let me know. But I'm very confused when it comes to that. So um, the second thing I did is that I went through um, my favorite recipes. I have a big, huge binder, actually of two, of all of my favorite recipes. My mom gave me it as a gift when I got married. She put all of her favorite recipes in there. And since then, I have just added to it, taken away, um, and just kind of made it my own. And I have everything separated in there um, according to like, uh, like appetizers, soups, uh, chicken, beef, and different desserts and um, breads and all of that in there. So you can create one of those very easily. I just put everything in these little plastic sheet protectors and I stick it in a three ring binder. You have to have one of the big ones if you're gonna have as many recipes as I do. Um, but th that worked great. So I just went through there though because it's so big and so overwhelming that a lot of times I wasn't even opening that because I'm like, there's just too many choices in there. I went through it though and I figured out which ones are absolute favorites. I also sat my family down and I said, what are some of y'all's favorite meals to have? And so then after I, ha I got all of those together, I made categories. So I've got one for crock pot meals. I've got one for Mexican, Italian, breakfast, meat and potatoes, meatless meals, um, lunches, desserts, breads. And then at the bottom of a, of a lot of these pages, I also have things to pair, pair it with. So like sides that we can eat with that particular meal. And so anyways, this has been so helpful, y'all. It has really narrowed down my options. And if you're like me and you get like decision fatigue, this will be a huge game changer for you because it really simplifies things. Um, I did do a good many on some of these categories, um, but on some of them, I have like maybe six options. So very easy. So once I had all of my meal options, the third thing I did is printed out a month at a glance calendar. What I would ideally like to have is all of these meal plans in this binder and I can pull from them whenever I need one and I don't have to create a new meal plan every single month. So I'll make like in the fall, I'll make lots of soups. In the summer, we'll eat a lot of salads. Having the date on my meal plan is really helpful because that way I can like this time next August, I can pull out this August one and I'm and it'll probably still be the things that we're gonna wanna eat. So like, but next August, I probably wouldn't wanna pull out my November calendar because it's gonna have like a lot of soups in it, maybe a lot of pumpkin things, maybe a lot of like 
comforting meals that you just don't feel like eating in the summertime. So once I get a ton of these monthly meal plans filled out, I am gonna have so many of them to be able to grab and go and I won't have to create a lot of these in the future because they'll already be done for me. So I'm gonna hang on to these but what I have been doing for these meal plans is I have just been filling them out like two weeks at a time. You can go in and just plan the whole month out at a time. And I know a lot of people do that and that works great for them. But for me, I don't really like to plan that far out because I don't even really know what we're going to be doing. And even planning two weeks out like I do, um, sometimes things still change and I have to readjust, which is why I always write <laughs> in erasable pen because it's easy to change it up if you need to. So, and when I do make our meal plan for the week, um, I know that it's always very flexible. So like if we have tacos planned for Tuesday night, if we need to do them on Thursday night, we can always do them on Thursday night. It's not that big of a deal. Um, it's only things that require a lot of perishable items. Like if it's something that has like mushrooms in it, I know I need to cook that within the next two or three days. But a lot of times for those kind of recipes, I won't even buy those ingredients till a few days before. So you can plan it out however you want to do it. I did it about two weeks at a time because that's how we get paid and that's also how I grocery shop. I usually shop every two weeks. On the off weeks that I'm not grocery shopping, I usually will run to Aldi's and get like milk and produce items that um, we may still, we may need, but I don't do like a full grocery run. The fourth thing I do is after I have figured out what we're gonna eat for the next two weeks, I need to make my grocery list. And this is the other wonderful thing that I created that has been Wonderful. I created this in Canva too. And you can just put in the Canva search engine um, shopping list. And I think the same one will come up, but I just put in all of our um, staple grocery items. Now I don't get these every single week. I don't even get some of them every single month because sometimes we don't need them, but usually I get all, all of these every single month. But like things like chili beans and green beans, Rotel tomatoes, diced tomatoes, those kind of things I have been stocking up in bulk on. And so I don't even really need those for probably several more months. Same thing with like flour and sugar. I will buy those in bulk sometimes. Um, so I don't really need those right now. But what I have been doing with this list is I go through and if there's anything that I don't need for the week, I will just cross it off the list. Um, but if there's something I do need, I keep it on the list. And then I, of course, have room to add things that I do still need. And then I have been taking different colored highlighters and I just highlight where I'm going to get that item. So I use like pink for Costco, purple for Aldi, um, blue for Azure Standard. And I just go through and decide where the best price is and so and where I'm going to buy that. And then I just highlight it accordingly. And this has been probably the, my favorite thing because I would keep forgetting things. Like I know that we eat apples every single week, but I forgot to buy the apples. I know that I always use almond milk in my smoothies, but I forgot to buy the almond milk. And so now having just this um, master list of the staples in our pantry has really helped me just not forget things like I used to. And I do make grocery lists on my phone occasionally too, and that's very helpful. I'll add things on there to that. But this is at least like the things I know that we're going to need every two weeks or once a month. So I just printed a whole bunch of these out, but you could even like laminate it and then wet erase on it and keep reusing it. So you don't have to use as much paper. You could use this as just kind of like your master list. And then you just still write a grocery list every week. So that is pretty much it. It's, it's quick. It's easy. It's simple. It is saving us a ton of money. Um, it's saving me so much time and really minimizing the stress in my life. And um, I have been loving doing it this way. So I hope that this helped you guys. I never know about like what videos I should put out. I feel like it's such a struggle for me every week because I have so many ideas in my head and I want to be giving y'all like the best content that you really want to see. So if you would do me a quick favor and down below, write the videos that you love the most, whether it's like day in the lives or meal preps or homeschool videos, and then get a little even more specific with me and tell me exactly like an idea of another video that you would like to see. 
that would be so helpful. I hope that it helps you simplify your life a little bit and get a little bit of off your shoulders and off your plate so that you could have more time to love on your babies and spend time with the Lord because that's really like my ultimate goal every day. How can I have more time with my family and more time with the Lord but still get the things done that I need to get done? So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Be sure that you give this video a thumbs up before you head out and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. I will have new content coming at you very soon. Thanks guys. See ya.